Good evening, everybody. Um, Good evening, everyone. Welcome to uh, day four today, uh, where I'm going to talk about the fourth prosperity, which is very important for us uh, in our uh, life. Yeah, like I think, uh, like I've said a few times in the last uh, three days as well. So the whole idea of this talk is to tell you about the 16 different prosperities that we want to gather in our life, which was uh, mentioned a long time ago. And a lot of us might not remember, might not know. And my job is to just to give you a bit of an idea about the 16 prosperities that we should uh, gather in our life. Huh? And that's what we are here for today. So today is the fourth prosperity. And um, I had a bit of a, a headache um, in terms of my research and uh, looking what to talk to you today about the fourth prosperity. Because if you look at the poster that I sent you about this prosperity and um, in Tamil, the it says artful, and in English, it says dexterity. And dexterity, if you look at the dictionary, it actually uh, says um, about the skills with hands. You know, you talk about hands and all. So it didn't make sense to me about how does it work, you know. So what I did was um, did a lot of research, talked to a lot of people, talked to my wife. You know, then finally, I called my sister. My elder sister is in Saramba, and she's a former... Uh, Tamil school headmistress, you know, uh, uh, my sister Jaya. So I gave her a call and said, Akka, I want to know, uh, you know, this, because she's, she's very good. She's, she knows about ancient scriptures. She is very learned, very good. So I called her and asked her, I said, what does this artful mean, you know, in terms of this prosperity? And then she said, it's very simple. It means um, teramai, which is also in Tamil, which also means um, talent or skills. It means one of the prosperity we all should have in life is this other this additional talent or skills that can be used to make ourselves happy and make other people happy and that's what she said and uh, you know day one i talk about education prosperity we need to have an education day two we talk about wisdom to know how to make decisions have the wisdom to do it yesterday we talked about long life now you since since we we were going to have a long life and i talked about it yesterday right but what are you going to do during in your life you know, in this long life, you know. So you're going to live 70 years, 80 years, 90 years. What are you going to do? Um, you know, uh, are you going to be a, just a doctor, just a lawyer, just an engineer, just, you know, just an accountant, just, you know, uh, what, what are you going to be? Uh, I'm not saying anything wrong with any of these people. We need doctors, we need engineers, we need lawyers, we need all these people, right? But I think we all are born uh, with certain purposes in life. You know, we have, we have certain, this thing called the innate purpose in life, you know. Um, you know, I, I do this um, advanced Ho Oponopono program, you know, and uh, one of the modules I do in the, my advanced Ho Oponopono program is how do you connect your inner child and how to find out your purpose in life, you know, how to connect your soul and how to find a purpose in life. And many of these people in my advanced program, when they go through that particular module, many of them break down and cry. The reason they cry is when they connect with their inner child, um, you know, some of them are in the 30s, 40s, 50s, right? So they connect, they realize actually when they came into this life, the inner child, when they were born in this life, it had so many things it wanted to do. There were so many things you wanted to achieve in life. But then because of the upbringing, you end up being a doctor, lawyer, engineer. And sometimes parents uh, don't even encourage the children to do something else. And if you are a parent today, if your son or daughter is very good in uh, you know, a dance or very good in a language, very good in an instrument, very good, you should encourage them. And not what you want them to do, but also what they want to do. And that's very important, you know. If it's a skill, if it's a talent, yeah. Because that can be developed and that could also become very, very something that you want to live for. Because you want to live in your life, um, you know, for 70, 80, 90 years. And then you regret not doing a lot of things. So the, the, the prosperity number four we're going to talk about today is about talent and skills that you must have or you must develop. And that becomes a prosperity for you. 16 prosperities you need in your life. One of it is talent and skills that you need to discover. I'll tell you today how. So what is this let's talk about what it is what is talent and skills and then i'll talk about why uh, sorry how to get this talent and skills then i'll tell you why is it a prosperity yeah let's talk about what what do i mean by talent and skills okay i've got another sister of mine she's elder to me she was also a teacher and um and now she's retired okay and uh, after retiring now she's uh, she she had um, you know a, a, 
health challenge and then she's recovering but she has been drawing and amazing you know amazing she i've never seen her draw and she's drawing and she's drawing birds and she's drawing it is amazing and i'm, I'm thinking oh my god i i Dave, her name is davy i said i didn't know you are so talented you know that's a skill that's a talent but sometimes because we go on with life with uh, get an education get a job and work and have children or we forget that there are a lot of talents we have with that we can discover and we can develop you know so that is a talent okay um i have another lady uh, becky she is actually a makeup artist and a zumba instructor reason is she has been doing a lot of drawing you know very talented i'm, I'm like my god when when how do you know what to do you know I've never been for an art class like my sister never been these are talents and skill and you know what's the best thing about Becky is so excited when she draws. My sister Devi is so excited when she draws, and that's a talent, a skill. Um, my father-in-law is a sales manager, or you know, he's been a sales manager for the longest of time, selling cars, lah. But you know, he he he's got his own vegetable farm, you know, in his in his backyard of his house, like he's got his avra cars and his moringa cars and you know, his katri cars and all this vegetable, different different vegetables and all, right? And and it and in their taste so good, um, you know. I know a lot of people when they plant, they told me it tastes so good, lah. But I think he's got green fingers. I think he's the type of person who is so talented, so skillful. He knows what to plant, where to plant, and and he he plants all this and makes us very happy because he gets in and gives us to us, right? <clears throat> That's a skill. That's a talent. I know a lot of people can do. No, a lot of people you you plant something or die immediately, you know. So these are these are innate talent. Now during COVID. Uh, during covid a lot of people have started to show their talent as you can see in you know in the social media you can see i i have uh, recently my son celebrated his birthday and then uh, my wife ordered ordered um something called a biryani cake and it came it's a cake you know it's a cake you know but it's actually biryani rice and with with, with chicken and and i was like oh my god this looks like it, but it, this is talent i have seen people who bake cakes you know with like a sari you know recently that's talent but a lot of people have this you know but are you doing so when i talk about talent and skills is this additional skills see i'm an accountant i studied accountancy right but i've now developed many different talents i i i, I can do training and law of attraction i can talk about how upon upon i i'm a financial planner i i do talks on finance i talk about investments i talk about a lot of things you know but i think this is because i'm a good communicator so my skill and talents are communication so a lot of us have this and a lot of us don't realize that we don't allow this to grow and that is the sad part about it you know in kuala lumpur i want to ask you something i don't know whether you heard of this lah where is the where is the most expensive real estate in kuala lumpur or in in malaysia where is the most expensive real estate real estate no property where is the most expensive you know what you can tell whatever you want to tell lah let me tell you what i've heard and what i've read the most expensive uh, property is actually cemeteries all cemeteries you know why because there are so many people who are dead with skills and talents hidden inside them they never developed it so many people had skills and talent they never ever developed it so that and them and now they are dead they are there in the grave and that is the most expensive piece of land because people died with their skills and talents you see yes to uh, dave was just talking to another uh, uh, you know a person her name is oh, i don't mention a name now okay sorry she called me anne la huh? she said anne uh she is 15 years she's been actually doing uh, therapy for autistic children you know and uh, now she has decided that you know and now because of covid i can't see children personally and i can't do this therapy so i can't do, and she says you know what and i actually enjoy cooking and i want to actually start my own cooking you know i used to do it before now i want to start that's that's what it called double and she's so excited she's planning the kitchen la she's planning that how to deliver la how to market la you know I've got another one. Uh, this, this gentleman is a doctor. I mean, he's a PhD holder, Dr. Joe, Joe Dillingham, you know. And he cooks food and takes pictures. And I mean, it looks like it's like banana leaf from Sarona, Sarona uh, Bhavan or banana leaf from Krishna Curry House, whatever. And it looks so good. I'm telling Dr. Joe, listen, now, you know, I want to come to your house and eat your food, lah, because so these are talents, these are skills. And I think a lot of us got a lot of skills and talents, and that is a prosperity. And what I want to do today is about. you thinking about how to develop it so what is talent this is in addition to whatever you already do how do you develop it okay i'm going to talk you how to develop it huh? there are two ways you can develop uh, to your skill your skill and talent or find out discover your skill and talent huh? two ways one is you need to do a bit of reflection about your life so whatever your age is today you reflect about your life 
Number one, you look back at your past and say, what makes you happy in your past life? Huh? Not past life, sorry, not last life, this life. Okay, what made you happy? Were you happy putting uh, toys together? Were you happy doing Lego? Uh, were you happy planting? Were you happy cooking? Were you happy baking? What, what made you happy? Because that is where your talent and skills could be. Or oh, you love print, uh, painting, maybe you love singing, maybe you love playing instruments. I don't know, think about it. You know, or maybe you, your talent is actually um, helping people in some way or other, maybe that, you know. Um, what made you very strong? You know, when you do certain things, you feel very happy and strong. You feel, oh my God, I'm good at this. You know, a lot of things like when my teacher call you and say, like for example, when I was growing, I'm a, I'm a good student, right? Uh, I did very well in school. But when the teacher says, okay, now we're going to have uh, sports or we're going to have singing competition, I get, oh my God, oh my God, because that didn't make me strong. But when the teacher says, okay, we're going to do maths test, I, it made me strong because I know I'm very good at maths, you know. Or when the teacher says, I want to do, uh, like I'm, I'm very good at cooking, you know, now. And I've learned from my mom. And and when let's say I was a I was a king scout, you know, I was a scout, and I got the title as a king scout. And um, I can we, I've learned how to cook. I can you know we can go up in a tree and you know put a platform and cook because that's talents that I picked up. So I, it made me strong, and it made me understand this is something I'm very comfortable in doing. You know, um, what what got you appreciated the most? You know, maybe when you're growing up, what got got what what teacher said? Hey, you're very good in this. You know, you're very good in. Your parents said hey, you're very good in this. Huh? Anything spoiled? Also, you know how to fix it back. Huh? Uh, maybe you are a DIY talent person. You know, or maybe you like painting. You know, like you say, you know, your your house needed to do some painting, and you did a very good job. Or maybe you're good in carpentry. You know, where you wanted to, like my daughter, you know, when, whenever we buy a table, we buy anything in the house, huh, my daughter will, will know how to put it all together. You know, she's so talented in fixing it all up together. So that's a talent. That's a skill. You know what I'm trying to say now? So you, we, we all need to do this. So go back and look at your childhood and see yeah? what made you feel good. What made you feel, feel happy, you know? And, and one of the things you can do, like I said, um, like I said, I teach it in my advanced program. But... If you can reflect back your childhood, you know, and like I said, I do in my advanced Hope and Open Up program, I, there's one module I talk about going back to childhood where you sit down and, you know, close your eyes. You know, if you go and Google uh, how to, you know, meditate for inner child, just Google how to meditate. There are a lot of meditation techniques. Because, uh, my program, I teach people because they sign up for my program. And when, when they go back to this meditative state, to go back to their childhood when they were three years, four years, five, they will discover their true purpose in life. Why were they born? Why did they come into this life? They didn't come into this life to be an accountant. They didn't come into this life to be a doctor. They didn't, maybe doctor, yeah. Maybe you want to serve other people, yeah. Maybe you want to save lives, maybe. Like, but maybe, but I don't think everybody wanted to be a lawyer, or engineer, and whatever. Not. But a lot of people, they do it because they are told that's a job. You need to do it to make money. So one of the things you can do is to go back, look back at your son, see what are the talents, what are the things, you know, and, and relook what makes you happy. Okay. Then Go to the next part, which is from today onwards, you start developing your talents and skills. How do you do that? Number one, you look at your current field, whatever you're doing now. Okay, uh, let's talk about not additional skills, uh, your current field. So, uh, see, I'm 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 an accountant, for example. Uh, if I want to develop, maybe I want to look at other areas of skill like consultancy, uh, look like like a taxation, or if you're an engineer, maybe you want to look at other areas. You know. You want to look at uh, computer engineering rather than maybe you have done civil engineering, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, so you want to look at, um, you know, uh, artificial intelligence, things that makes you want to develop other things, you know? So what are you good at? What are you skillful at? What are you, you know, uh, what, I mean, like I said, what, you know, all of you here, like a lot of people come and tell me, Mr. Kati, I want to do what you're doing. I want to teach people about how upon upon. I want to teach. Then that's a skill, right? So then maybe you want to uh, get in touch with me. I'll teach you how you can be a hope upon trainer, how you can be a law trainer. Because maybe that's what you want to do. You want to be able to reach people. You want to help people. Maybe you love always helping people. So you could do that. Okay. So uh, what you need to do is to look at that. Now, other than that, when you do the reflection, remember I said, Look at all your childhood, look at the past few, look at what made you happy, look what at what were you good in school and all that. Look at all these talents, write it down and start doing them. It doesn't matter. You can work as a lawyer, work as an engineer, do a business, do whatever you're doing. But in addition, maybe you start painting now. Don't wait. Don't wait until you retire. See, my sister is a very good artist, but she waited until she retired and she just started doing it. But you can start today. You know, if you're good at drawing, if you go and go to go to YouTube. 
um, you know, search for some information, you know, go to, you know, read books about, you know, and develop yourself and go and get this going because you don't want to wait. I mean, if you say, oh, I love gardening. Okay, then find out, you know, what is the best thing that suits you? Oh, I want to have an orchard. I want to have fruit trees. I love durian. Okay, work on it because these are talents and skills. This is a, this is because one, one day this could be profitable. Like for me, when I do training program, it's profitable for me today. You know, I make money because I do training, but I studied accountancy. I'll tell you why later. Okay, I want to finish up with my story, right? So you want to look at what are the talents you have, what are the things you have, and start off first as a hobby. You know, start off as a hobby. Um, maybe you like stamp collecting. Maybe you like, like I told you, like, you know, maybe there's certain things you want to do. But start this. Go back. Don't wait. Don't wait. You know, in fact, what you should do, you should be a learner. A learner means you've decided, okay, I think I want to be good. I want to be good at, oh, okay, even simple things like, you know, I've always wanted to do share trading. Then do research. Go in YouTube, read books. Or oh, I always wanted to buy gold and invest in gold. Then go and do research. Find out. Uh, you know, I always wanted to, you know, look into um, or starting uh, like a food business, like, you know, what's happening now. Then do research. Find out more. Go. Because you really, really, really don't want to make the cemetery expensive because you're dying with your talent and your skills. You understand or not? You want to live in this life and you want to be able to be able to enjoy that. Eh? Get a coach. Get a coach. Get someone. I'm a coach. Uh, you know, if you are interested, contact me and maybe, you know, come for one or two of my sessions that I do. Uh, go to my YouTube video and look at it. Or as a coach, you know, I, I, I can sit down with you and, and, and guide you and tell you, okay, what I can run through with you and find out, okay, this is your talent. Because that's what I do. I do business coaching. People pay me to coach them in various businesses. So I actually coach them to see what are their skills and talents. You can even do a test. You can do actually a, a test to see I, what is what what actually fits you. What is your talent? What is your skill? What is your career? You know, uh, my company actually has this kind of test. You know, where you can actually sign up and do a test, and you can actually find out. Oh my God, this is my career, or this is what I should do. This is if I want to do business, what business should I do? You know, I've got something called a business fit test. You can actually do a test you know, online and it'll actually show you what kind of business is good for you. Career, I've got students who sit for tests that I have. It's called a career fit test. It'll actually tell you what, what studies are good for you according to your talent, you know. Uh, recently, I had this lady. She's actually a Bharatanatyam dancer. And she's also, um, uh, she works, I think she did finance degree, right? Um, and then now um, she decided to, you know, to go into business. She wasn't sure what. The, so we, we we did the test. It's called a career fit test. And the test showed she should she should look at something that is going to help people, like being an insurance agent. And she wants to be an insurance agent. You see, so this kind of talents you will discover when you when you so take a test. Maybe travel. I got two more things to say. Yeah, travel, travel. When you travel, you discover things. Maybe you you go out there drive around travel you find what is your skill and talent you like when you travel out there and you see people doing things go out there and you see people doing fishing and you say oh my god you know i want to become i want to fish because i feel that i've got this thing about fishing i love that i want to i don't know i really don't know what makes you happy okay um take up challenges that come your way take up challenges I mean when like for example uh, a lot of people during this covid time huh, a lot of people wanted to lose weight so they went on a weight loss program and today many of them have become a uh, fit guru, life guru, health gurus, because they really discovered now that they're very good at uh, weight management or health management, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. So these are the ways you can actually discover your talent and skills and develop it. Yeah. Uh, why? Why is it a prosperity? Okay. Why? Okay. The reason why um, two, 500 years ago they felt that talent and skills is a prosperity for you is because um, we only have one life. I mean, we we believe in reincarnation, but you cannot remember anything, right? You only, have the, you only remember this life. So you don't want to live for 100 years you know, and think, I could have done this, I should have done that. So you got to start doing now. No. Number two, you, did, you, you are not born in this life to work, 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 pay bill, pay bill, pay bill, and then die. You are not in this life to just walk, pay bill, retire, and die. You are here in this world to do more. So go back and revisit, look at the, what are the talents, what are the skills, what is it that you want to do to make yourself so happy, okay? And, and the power within us. You see, um, all animals, they cannot, they don't have the sixth sense. So they only, animals are basically look for food, eat the food, uh, shit, sleep, and then next day look for food, eat the food, and then do whatever, sleep, and the next day get up. Food. We human beings are not born for that. We are not born, just get up in the morning, eat food, work, take salary, sleep. Get up. We, are, no, we are born for bigger things in life. And you need to find out 
that is the talent that's that's the art that's the term you need to find out what is it that you're good at you want to go to singing then start singing class take singing class you want to learn dancing then take learn the dance classes but look at your skill yeah i i just want to finish up by telling you this my friends so my parents when i was growing up was did the same thing that you know all of you were told you know get a good education get a good job and you know you become very successful so i studied accountancy the reason i said accountancy is because when i my parents you know uh, rubber tapers right so i wanted to uh, i wanted to work where i can get the highest pay and i found that if you among all the degrees you know and when i went to university um, if i did um, you know uh, accounting degree i will get 1400 per month salary which is the highest compared to all other degrees in the university and what i did was because i wanted a government job my parents told me to get a government job so i worked i did accountancy i got a job in bangalore when i went there, I got 1004 so i can support my parents that's what i did but as i was working as an auditor i realized that uh, you know i was good at communicating i was good at training i was going get i think i told you the other day about how i started training the clericals and all you know in bangalore and subsequently i had this wonderful gentleman called rosman who came and did a training program in bangalore and then he told me why don't you come and join my company and become a trainer and with my my boss in bangalore you know who was very supportive i had with his blessings i left bangalore joined him and then i became a training consultant i am very thankful to rosman to give me that opportunity and then subsequently of course rosman decided to go into other things but i became a training consultant and today i i can i my talent is law of attraction ho pono pono i can talk about wealth i can talk about health i can talk about businesses different business how to set up and all i can talk about finance i can talk about investing i can talk about a lot of things in fact currently and, and i'm not done currently i'm working with a young lady uh, who introduced me to a new concept a new manifestation uh, module which i'm so impressed with because she sent me a book for me to read and and i was so uh, amazed with this book and i'm reading the book and hopefully by end of this year um together with her i'm going to introduce this new manifestation uh, thing that i have, every one of you will be very excited about so i'm still developing i'm still looking at what talents what skills i can develop so i want to finish up by telling you my friends the most expensive real estate in the in in anywhere around the world is the cemetery because a lot of people die uh, with their talent and skill and you shouldn't do that so develop your talent develop your skills because that is one of the pro prosperities that you can achieve in your life so with that thank you very much my friends i'll see you tomorrow uh, at 8 o'clock sharp with the prosperity number 5 which is about youthfulness okay how to stay youthful maybe i can talk about it right i'm 58 years old a lot of people say i don't look 58 so probably i will be able to speak about it right so i'll see you tomorrow yeah all of you um, take care be safe okay bye bye everyone